Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you what's in my changing bag slash diaper bag. So, stay tuned. Welcome back to my vlog channel, my name is Amy and on this channel I do baby content, um, vlogs and just other videos that are not beauty. I do also have a beauty channel called Amy Sorrel which I will link on the end cards here and I'll also link it down in the description if I remember. But yeah, let's get straight into this video. Um, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe if you love this content. Don't forget to comment down below what you have in your diaper or changing bags, I'd like to know because everyone's different. <laughs> you know, I mean, everyone has different things and organises things in different ways. And the way I'm going to do this bag is I'm going to grab the camera and show it, sort of, like, I'll have the bag and then the camera facing into the bag, like, do it like a vlog style, because I think that will look a lot better and I think it'll be easier for you guys to see what the bag actually looks like, because it's actually quite a big bag. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my um, changing bag or diaper bag, depending if you're from America or not. But yeah, this is uh, my changing bag. This has all of Oscar's bits in it that um, we use when we go out. Obviously, I will be emptying this bag after this video because obviously we're not going out anywhere. So obviously I won't be needing the stuff that's in here. So obviously I'll take it out so he can use it while we're at home. But yeah, this is a bag called from, I think it's from the brand Le Queen. Um, I will try and link this bag down in the description. Um, I didn't buy this, my mum did. Um, I don't know if you saw on a, if, you do, if you're on my other channel, um, I don't know if you saw on my... I think it's my second PR haul. Um, I did a video on my reaction for this because I didn't, because I, I hadn't ordered it, it just, just turned up. I didn't know if it was PR or anything like that, so I just opened it up. Then I found out it was from my mum. So my mum very, very kindly bought this for us, which we're so, so, so thankful for because it literally holds everything. It's huge. And I would definitely recommend this bag because it's very, very sturdy. <laughs> yeah, so. If you want to see what's in my changing bag, then keep on watching. Right, this is the bag. <laughs> so again, we're going to start from the outside and then go in. So as you guys can see, so this is the bag. That's how thick the bag is. <laughs> but basically, so we're going to start from the front. So this pocket here, um, it's meant for like, it's like a bottle warmer section. Because like, as you can see, it's got like a thing to stop with bottle warmers. Because I use the Tommy Tippy ones, they're a bit big, so they're a bit big for this slot. So obviously you've got some bits here that you can pop in, like petites and stuff. But what I pop in here are these pre-mades, which I am using at the moment for his breakfast, because I don't have time in the morning to make his um, like morning breakfast out. So he has these up-to-meal ones for breakfast currently. Um, but he uses these, so I always pack um, like powdered up-to-meal that I've already made, but say we're out for a little bit longer than we normally would expect. These are brilliant for like on the go, very, very quick. And these are the Aptomil Stage 1. I would definitely recommend them. He absolutely loves them and loves his milk. So I'd definitely recommend them. I, I always put, I always make sure I've got three of them in here. So if I use one or two, or if I use all three, when I'm at the shops next, I always buy some more just to sort of top up. So I've always got three every time we go out, or most of the time we go out. So that way, you know, we've got more milk than we needed. And if he does need a feed, then you've got it prepared. Right, we're going to go from this this side and go around. So I'll turn the bag. So this side, um, it has a little pocket with like a hole in. It's great for if you put in bits in that's a little bit larger than the pocket. Because it has these extendable, like these um, 
these bits here basically to help sort of make the pocket a little bit bigger. Um, like I use you know the big um, Aptamil one. I don't think they're one liter, but the bigger bottles they fit perfectly in here. But you can fit things like bottles and like spare bottles and just spare bits in here that you know you can't quite fit in the bag. Um, also underneath here, I don't know if you can see, oh you can see. Underneath here is a little jack that you can put headphones through when you are walking, and there is a pocket inside which I'll show you guys in a sec. So you can pop like headphones or like a charger for your phone. Anything that's got like a cable can be put through here. Like a little hole. Yeah, so I think that's very, very handy definitely in this day and age with like technology and everyone's online. It's great to have something like that so that people can either charge their phones, you know, or just listen to a bit of music at the back. This bit's very kind of interesting, which I quite like about it. You've got this little zip here, which has... What's it got in here? Oh, we've got some socks. <laughs> we've got some socks in here. It's literally just a tiny little compartment um, that you can put like little bits in, like socks. <laughs> I've got in here. I sort of stick like lip balms and stuff in here, so things that can't really get crushed that well. So this bit's on your back. And next is this bit here, which I love this bit. This bit at the back, like this zip. Because you, if you unzip it, so I say, you know, obviously you've got your bag, how it's laid out. Say you need to reach things that are at the bottom of the bag, and instead of taking everything out the top, you could use this zip to get it all from the bottom. So you can get all your nappies and your bags and your wipes and clothes that you need from the bottom. So that way it's quick access to the clothes, so that way you can very, very quickly go change the baby and just basically quick access. I quite like it. I use it very, very regularly because my nappies and stuff are all down here and got some vests and tops. So say he's wet himself and he's a bit fussy, like he's hungry and you just want to get it, get it done quick, or you're out and about and you just want to change them quickly, just undo this, grab what you need, ta-da, done. And then he sits back up again. That's the best feature, I love that one. And turn it round. You don't have a port on this side, but you do have another pocket, and in this pocket I hold stuff like, if I can grab it, his dummy um, box. I always have at least one dummy, maybe two, in here. He always has one in his um, pram or buggy anyway. But just in case he throws it out and he needs that pacifier or something just to sort of help calm himself down, I've got a spare one in here. You can put extra bottles and stuff or anything you really want in here. They're very, very big pockets. Right, look at that. So that is the outside of the bag, the storage on the outside of the bag, which I think is quite a lot of storage. And you can unclip this bit up here and then you just unzip this try and do it one-handed and this top bit here is hard like it's got like wire across both sides and it just pops open so it's like really sort of really what not really speaking very well am i <laughs> i'm really rubbish at describing things so i'm really, really sorry if you can't understand a word that i'm saying in this video but yeah, it opens up really nicely. This is the bag. And I'll go from what's in here first and then what's around the corners because that way you can see a lot better. So as you can see, this is his changing mat. It's not a proper changing mat. It's something that I had when I was pregnant that you put under the sheets and it's waterproof. And currently, because he's got a, he did have a mat, but he grew, grew, grew out of it basically. And so for the minute, we use this to sort of put him on so that way if he does leak or wet himself on it you know it sort of catches it also in here we have we obviously it's empty at the minute but we always have at least one warm bottle in here and all the other ones go in here or i do have another bag which obviously it's not full up yet but if he goes for because he because he's on because he's weaning when I go back to work, um, he'll be having a little lunch, he's got a little lunch box and his bottles will go in that little lunch box. But he will have another one, just one extra in here, just in case. So that's his little bottle bag that always stays in there. And then next is what's actually in here. It, look, it is organised, but it doesn't look organised. So, right. <laughs> I'm going to probably... So I'm going to show you the outside and then I'll go back to um, putting you on the stand and then I'll show you what's in the actual bag and then I'll show you how big the bag actually is at the end so right, let's turn that round starting from this side he has his 
book in here, so it's always with him at all times. Obviously, you've got all of his information in it. In here, you've got some nappy cream, I think that is. Yep, nappy cream. Bongella, because obviously he is now teething. So, some Bongella. Got our thermometer in here, which I need to find the cap for. It's not always like this, by the way, but it's just I need to find the cap for it. Normally in here as well, we always have... We norm, well, not always. Normally have his cow pole in here as well, definitely, if we know that he's not feeling great or he's had his injections. But it is obviously been put away because obviously we're at home at the minute. But we've got some deodorant because it's always nice to freshen up. And this is... Oh, this is the pocket I was telling you about earlier. Oh, it's got straps and stuff in it at the minute. But you can put like battery packs and your phone or anything like that in here. And obviously, as you can see, the, you can see the floor. So you put the cable through there and it comes out the bottom here. So that's that. And then this last little pocket here is just another one which you can just pop. I don't know what you can... You can sort of put anything in here, really. I, I don't have anything in it apart from if I've got like a lip scrub or lip balm or any lip products in here that I'm sort of using to sort of, you know, rehydrate my lips. Or I have like hair bands or something in there for me. But you can also fill it with whatever you guys have in your bags. But this is just what, I'm ha what I've normally got. I do obviously add extra bits to it, but this is basically what it looks like on a like, basic day so i'm going to pop you back on the other side and we're going to sieve through what's in here well, as you guys saw obviously this came out of it and this mat obviously came out of the bag um, i am now going to take everything out of the bag show you what i have in the actual main compartment so starting on the right side where his clothes are we always have i always have a pair of jeans and a another pair of trousers whether it's leggings another pair of jeans or tracky bottoms because you need extra clothes just in case he wets himself. I do overpack because I'd rather have more than less just in case there's a couple of extra accidents. We have two tops in here for the two trousers and depending on how late we are staying out, but I always put them in here anyway just in case we stay out a little bit longer than needed, we have two sets of pyjamas. We have one that I know fits him and one that I'm not too sure that fits him because obviously because he's growing I don't want him to be in like a really tight onesie so I've got one that's I know that fits him to so these are his pajamas and then in here you've also got three vests just in case he wets himself through the vests you know it might be a bit overkill I do understand but I like to sort of overpack definitely as we've got the space to overpack so that way we've got extra bits on the other side we have nappies I normally have more than this but we've been taking them out and using them at home but I have a stack of nappies I have my wipes and then my bags. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> that's what's in that. So I'm going to quickly show you how big the bag is. So yeah. So that is the depth of the bag. Like it goes right down, right down here. Now it is very, very deep, which is really, really nice because you can get a lot of stuff in here. Like you can get his bottles, you can get clothes, changing stuff. It's a really, really big bag. And I don't think it was that expensive either. So I am going to link um, the bag down in the description if I find it. Um, for you guys. So that way... Um, yeah, so that way you guys can check it out for yourselves. If you need a new dive bag or you're pregnant and you need a one, then go ahead and grab it. So yeah, I think that's everything. That's this, um, what's in my bag... So, so that's basically what I have in my bag on a regular basis. I do obviously add and take away things depending on the day. But that's basically what I have in the bag at all times. Um, obviously you have actual bottles in there and he does. Ha he will be having a little lunchbox. Because he is weaning and he's on lunches. So, yeah, pop it all back. Thank you so much for watching. I'd like to know down in the comments what you've got in your bags. That are either the set, if you've got the same bits in there, or you stop, or you have different bits in there. I just want to know what you've got. So I like to sort of see and sort of I like exchanging ideas, sort of like seeing what other people are doing, and then you know sort of use their ideas, what they do, sort of adapt them to me, and same for you guys. So yeah, if, you, if this is the type, these type of videos you do enjoy, don't forget to give them a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.